How many of, of you have seen this movie? In this movie, there's this robot that's uh, assistant to the astronauts and the scientists, but this robot is also very empathetic. It understands emotions. It even has a sense of humor. And this is not that far in the future, even though interstellar travel is very, very far in the future. A machine like this is what we are building right now. So how are we doing? How, how do we do that? First of all, again, we use a, a neural network architecture called convolutional neural net to recognize human emotion from tone of voice. And the advantage of using CNN is that it will automatically extract features from raw input data, meaning you can speak to the machine directly without going through any signal processing and feature extraction, and the CNN will extract and um, recognize your emotion directly. That enables emotion recognition from tone of voice to be real-time and instantaneous, which is very, very important for human-machine interactions. We also have built a system in my lab which uses long short-term memory and uh, actually reinforcement learning to learn to have a sense of humor. So we feed a lot of TV sitcoms, such as Big Bang Theory, such as Seinfeld, to this system, and it learns to do two things. One, it learns to recognize your joke when you're talking, your, your, your humor. It learns to recognize that, so it will laugh or not, according to the sense of humor in your speech. And the second task, which is more elusive and much harder, is that the machine will come back with a punchline during the conversation with you when you say something. So conversational humor consists of uh, a setup. You usually set up a scenario through conversation, and then there's a trigger for a joke, and then there's a punchline. And after the punchline, that's when people laugh. So this machine is learning to have a sense of humor through conversations. We call it the Sheldon bot, because its sense of humor is not quite there, but it's getting there. Um, this is one of the toughest tasks in terms of uh, emotion recognition and emotion generation. We have also built algorithms to recognize your personality from talking to you, from looking at your facial expressions, the way you speak, the kind of words you use, how often you, how often you pause, how fast you speak tells the machine whether you're a neurotic person, you're an extrovert, whether you look at people when you talk, it tells, people, uh, tells the machine whether you are um, introvert, and so on and so forth. So again, we use something called a trimodal deep learning framework, where we combine facial expression recognition, tone of voice recognition, and the use of words recognition together in one uh, deep, neural uh, deep learning framework. And we do the back propagation all together at the end. Right? This, is a, uh, this is a very interesting application of deep learning. So why do we want to recognize people's personalities? So when we humans communicate with each other, we actually adapt the way we talk to the personality of our audience. Right. You talk to an introvert person differently from when you talk to an extrovert person. And for commercial systems of human-machine human interactive systems, it needs to understand the, the personality of the, of the user in order to improve engagement, and in order to communicate better. For, and there are other applications of personality recognition, such as in HR systems. Um, you can use a, a robot to detect um, the personality of, uh, of a candidate uh, as a screening test before, um, before using a human interviewer to interview the candidate. 